Hello, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 64 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, we're going to put our farmer jeans on and we're going to expand our farm. We have two new vegetables in the game now with Minecraft 1.4. And we're going to go ahead and find them and grow them and harvest them and then uh, use them in various recipes. Now, before I reveal the secret identity, does anybody want to take a stab at the two? Come on, guys. Sam, what do you think? It's a vegetable. One's orange. Yes, a carrot. Okay, the other one is very starchy. You make uh, potato chips and french fries out of it. Go ahead. Don't be shy, Dust Jr. Yes! Potatoes! Carrots and potatoes! You guys are good! All right. So, why don't we get started on the farm then? So, I think what we'll do is uh, just expand this out a little bit. I'm not going to make these um, too large. I think small... And simple is the way to go. So I think I'll just make a couple of rows out this way. And that ought to do. So we'll have, let's say, the carrots over here. And then the potatoes on the other side. So we'll just come out a couple of rows here. We'll make another path. A path, a path. And uh, yeah, that sounds like a pretty good plan to me. So let's go ahead and expand this out a little bit. So Dusk Jr. is a new cat of mine. Dusk Sr., um, <laughs> his mommy, kind of had an accident in the last episode. Took an arrow to the knee, as it were, and is no longer adventuring. So I had to go get a new cat. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. So let's see. One, two, and then a path here. Yeah, that ought to work. Um, I should probably put this here. So these are my two assistants for the day, Sam and Dusk Jr. And by the way, if you want to download this map, there's a link down below. Feel free to snag it, and you'll have everything that I have here um, all prepared to follow along. All right, why don't we... Uh, let's put the water here. We need to hydrate the land. Now, unfortunately, I do not have a potato or a carrot to get started with because we need something, obviously, to plant. And I don't have that yet. So... It's not infinite water supply. I just don't like that movement. So let's go over here and take one. There we go. And uh, what that means for us is that we have to go out and actually find a potato and find a carrot. And then we can get our farm started. Now, since this world was created with Minecraft 1.0... Well, let me tell you how you can find them first. There, there are two methods of getting a carrot and a potato. Uh, the first method is at a village, an NPC village, which is probably going to be the easiest way for you. So if you have a uh, a new map, it would have to be a new map, load up Minecraft, find the nearest NPC village, and where they grow wheat, like for example, that you know how they always have wheat farms? Some of the wheat will actually be carrots and potatoes. It's just mixed up all randomly. Now, if you have a world like me, and you already have a couple of villages generated with earlier code, you know, Minecraft 1.1, 1. 1, uh, 1.0 up to 1.3, for example, like I have a village over there and a village over there in the desert, they only have wheat right now, so I'm not going to be able to go over there and get potatoes. Um, so what you're going to have to do, there is another method, and that is to kill lots of zombies. We don't have a problem with that, do we guys? Oh no, 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 no. We enjoy that, in fact. <laughs> so... Uh, that's how we're going to have to do it. Unless I go off into the world far, far away in a galaxy, far, far away, and search for another NPC village somewhere, I'm going to have to kill lots of zombies. And I don't really feel like traveling today. I'm still sad about shooting dusk yesterday, so I'm still in mourning. So what we're going to do is head over to Dog Food Factory. I just wanted to take these wood ones out and put the stone all the way around. I just think that's going to look a little nicer. It's been driving me crazy. So what we'll do is head over to Dog Food Factory, which is um, not too far. And what that does is it slaughters, it produces zombies very quickly, and then it kills them. And then uh, every now and then a zombie... Yes, by the way, I don't think I've explained that. Yeah, zombies will rarely drop a carrot or a potato. Uh, they typically drop zombie flesh, rotten zombie flesh. But uh, every now and then, and it's a very small percentage chance that they will drop a, um, 
a potato or a carrot instead of zombie flesh. So we're going to go head over there, which is right over there, not too far. You guys want to come along? Dog food factory? I think it'll be kind of fun. All right, I'll take the boat. You. Well, you can stay here, Dusk Jr. I'll take the boat. You guys can swim. Okay, meet you there. So what my, my plan here is to um, get into the factory. I'll turn on the camera. I'll sit at the end of the delivery system where the zombies die and the flesh comes to me. Excuse me, duck. <laughs> it's a good thing you're a duck today because I would have slaughtered you mercilessly. Spy chickens. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll wait at the end and I'll just turn the camera on and I'll do like a time lapse thing and wait to see if we get a carrot or a potato. And this will be the perfect spot to do it. Come on in. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut out right now and have the camera right here. And then hopefully we'll get a potato and a carrot. I'm going to open this up to get some slots available. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. It is a very small percentage chance. I'll just leave the camera running for a bit. All I need is one carrot and one potato to get the farm started. All right, so here we go. Okay, well, I'm back. This is interesting. I have over 100 pieces of rotten zombie flesh, a.k.a. dog treats, but uh, not a single carrot or potato. So this may be telling. Um, perhaps the chance for them to drop carrot and potato is a lot slimmer than I had anticipated, or I need to kill them the old-fashioned style with my sword. So I think what I'm going to do is work my way up above them and perhaps try my sword. Well, I got an iron bar. <laughs> There's another small percentage chance to get a iron bar, and I got one. But still no potato or a carrot. And let's see, I've got almost three full stacks of dog chow. More dog chow. I'm getting tired and hungry doing all this. I'm getting experience, so that's a good thing. A potato! There was a potato! Yes! Now I just need a carrot! And I'll probably get 39 potatoes before I get a carrot, you watch. I don't really think killing them this way makes any difference, honestly. It's just a matter of waiting. Urgh, garagy, garagy. So I think I'll go back down and wait some more. And hopefully when I uh, get a carrot, we can continue with this <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> Maybe it might have been easier if I just went to look for a new village. Carrot, 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 carrot. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Got it! Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, finally, it's been 30 minutes. I actually made a new sword to do that. As you can see, I have used it up quite a bit. There were actually two carrots. Another zombie dropped one. But uh, it just disappeared. Completely disappeared. And then and Wilson fell into the trap. <laughs> I had to bust the window. <laughs> to get him out. And now it's nighttime and I'm hungry and I... No, do not eat the potato. Do not eat the potato. Okay. Whew. Carrot. <clears throat> uh, and potato. I've been standing there forever trying to get this done. Okay. Boy, what we do for science. Minecraft science. Is the cat with us? Or is she still sitting down? Um... Whoops. Hold on. No! There. 
<laughs> How much food do I have for you? All right, I'll be right back. I'll meet you back at Cozy Cottage. There you are. You're sitting. Okay. Hold on. Okay, we're back at Farmville, and I think we're ready to do some actual farming in this farming tutorial. I stopped off at Cozy Cottage, by the way, and picked up a golden ingot, some string, and some bones for bone meal, and I dropped off about 9,000 pieces of rotten zombie flesh. Dogs are happy. So, let's go ahead and do some farming. So, the first thing we want to do is till this earth right here. This will be our uh, carrot garden, and what I'm going to do now is just stuff the carrot right in the ground. Like I said earlier, there are no seeds involved here. You just take the carrot and right click just like you would with uh, seeds, uh, wheat seeds, and there we go. We've got a baby carrot plant. And if you punch the baby carrot plant, it doesn't cry or whine, it just pops out of the ground. That's the kind of baby we like. <laughs> and you always get your carrot back. So now if we hit it with um, Insta Grow Meal, we can turn it right into an adult, just like you can with wheat, for example. And you're going to get, when you harvest an adult, you get one to four one to four pieces back one to four carrots back that's your yield um let's go ahead and fill this whole section in and i want a few extras so we can do some more stuff with these guys come on here little fellas there we go that was a good yield and now i have seven extra carrots um, by the way these will go through four stages of life it starts at a baby and it moves into uh, toddlerhood and then you know that teenage stage where it doesn't listen to you. It talks back and it gets in a lot of trouble. Well, yep, that's the third stage. And then finally, adult stage, which is that. And that's when you can harvest it. If you harvest it before that, you're only going to get your one little carrot back. Um, carrots, um, they restore two meat pops. These guys down here, a raw carrot will, will restore two of those little chicken nuggets or meat pops or whatever you want to call them. And uh, we'll do some crafting here in a second with those. But let's go ahead and do our tater. You're up. You're up. Um, with the tater, it's the same as the carrot. There are no seeds. You just shove it into the ground. If you hit it, you get your tater back. If you hit it with some instant meal, you get an adult. And you will get between one and four potatoes back, just like you do with the carrots. And I'm just going to go ahead and get as many adults as I can. Oh, and you might get a surprise. There's a two, I, well, I think the wiki says 2% chance. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but there's a small percentage chance that you might get a poisonous tater back. And I wouldn't eat that guy. Because it's going to give you a bellyache. All right, let's, Um, I think that's enough. I've got 14 taters, seven carrots, and our potato and carrot farm are ready to rock and roll. Give him a little light for nighttime. Guys, nah. Just aim for the fence. There you go. And let's head back into the shed. Because we're going to do some crafting with these guys. Whoa! What did I ever do to you? That was rude. Okay, let's take a look at the furnace. We've got some fuel in here. I'm going to drop a potato off. Oh, and by the way, this goes through... Did I say four stages of life? I did. Um... And if you eat a raw potato, it'll restore one, uh, approximately one meat pop. So not very good. Raw potato is not very good. If you smelt a potato, a.k.a. cook it, you'll get a baked potato. Nice. Look at that. It's delish. And let's just show you the different uh, scenarios here with the food. So potato, raw potato, not so good. One meat pop. Carrots, two meat pops. Baked potato does a full three meat pops. So you want to make those guys when you have an opportunity. And there's one more thing we can do. Well, actually, a couple things we can do with a carrot. Uh, first and foremost, let's take our golden ingot. Let's get some golden nuggets. I'm going to put a carrot here. And I'm going to surround it with golden nuggets. And we have a golden carrot. Now, this guy here restores, I think, um, I think it's four meat pops. But... Uh, you don't want to eat these because these are going to be used as an ingredient in a night vision potion, which is something I will cover down the road. Let me just make sure that's what they do with, as far as the food pops are concerned. Hang on. Okay, the wiki says it restores three. So the baked potato and the golden carrot both restore three meat pops. So again, you, you don't want to eat that guy. It's way too expensive and it might chip a tooth because it is dipped in gold after all. So hang on to these. We're going to use those for... Um, for making night vision potions, which is something new in 1.4.
Okay, there's another thing we can actually craft here with uh, with the carrot. We're going to go ahead and make a fishing pole. And we're going to drop our carrot in here. And now we have a carrot on a stick. What the? Yeah, mm-hmm, carrot on a stick. Sadly, I do not have a saddle. If I had a saddle, I could show you something really cool. But I don't, so I can't. And therefore, I won't. But I really wish I did. Okay, guys, but here's something else you could do with carrots. Remember how we used to use wheat for these guys? Um, to make them bake, make, to bake bacon, to make them bacon. Hey, you guys want to make some bacon? We used to give them wheat. Wheat doesn't work with these guys anymore. Now you have to give them carrots. Ooh, just turn away. Ooh, I heard that. Hey, little piggy. And they also will follow you around with a carrot in your hand, just like they used to do with wheat. We also have a carrot on a stick, which... Um, I had a saddle. Didn't I have a saddle one time? And I used it up. Well, if I had a saddle, I could put it on a pig. I could hop on the back of the pig, and I could direct the pig with the uh, carrot on the stick. I'm going to have to do that in another episode because it's darn funny. Because um, if you recall from the earlier episode when I did that, or when I wrote a pig, I'm pretty sure I wrote a pig in this series. I'm not sure. If I had, then you would remember that um, I, you, can't, you can't control the pig. They're just all over the place. They drive wild. But if with you have if you have this in your hand and you're on the saddle, you can direct them around. You can go up and down hills and everything too. They, apparently, they can climb ladders, which uh, and vines, which would be an interesting sight indeed. Okay, I think I think that about covers it. Now, what happens if I right click? Nothing. Um, yeah. Well, that's uh, potato and carrot farming in a nutshell. And I think, um, I don't think there's anything else to discuss about these guys. So I think what we'll do is we'll say goodbye then with my carrot on a stick. Sadly, I do not have a saddle. I'm going to have to get a saddle. That's going to be a priority. All right. I hope you all enjoyed the carrot and potato farming tutorial. And if you did, a thumbs up is appreciated. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.